community members and city officials gathered in front of the West Indian Social Club Monday afternoon to celebrate Kamala Harris's win. They say her victory is breaking barriers for this community. And the glass ceiling has been shattered. Senator Kamala Harris, now the first woman elected to office of vice president. She is of part Jamaican descent. Her father, born in Jamaica, immigrated to the United States. Her mother, also an immigrant, is from India. Those who gathered in front of the West Indian Social Club in Hartford, hopeful for what this means for their community. And I came here in the early 80s, and uh, my aim was to, of course, enhance the West Indian presence in our community. And as you guys can see, Hartford boasts the third largest West Indian community in the entire country. We're proud who we are. Mayor Luke Bronin, along with Bloomfield Mayor Suzette DeBeatham Brown, among those in attendance. And so uh, to celebrate on this day, not just the triumph of, uh, of decency in our politics, not just the election of the first woman of color, but also to celebrate this victory uh, for the West Indian community. When I was elected mayor for the town of Bloomfield, the first black Jamaican woman, it was a huge thing for me, my two daughters and my five nieces. But I've seen on Facebook and I've seen little girls say, wow, we now have a vice president that looks just like me. Harris's acceptance speech echoing for many women around the country. And one of the things that really struck me in her speech, she said that I may be the first woman in this office. I will not be the last. So we all have dreams, we all have aspirations. And if there's any young girl out there, whether you're black, white, Latino, if you have a dream, put the work in and your payday will come. In Hartford, Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.